ITV. Come on in. I'm Alexander Armstrong. And I'm Emma Willis. And for the last time this series, we're about to welcome ashore four pairs of contestants who all share the same age. To win incredible prizes scattered across this remote and beautiful tropical island. Is this paradise, Emma? No, Alexander. This is Prize Island. <laughs> Island, a magical paradise where prizes are all around us. Four pairs of contestants will shortly arrive on the island and try and win some of those prizes by taking part in some incredible games. Everywhere you turn, there are truly amazing treasures to be won. Televisions, laptops, a holiday to Vegas, a new car with £50,000 in the boot. And unless my eyes deceive me, I can see a boat heading this way, which means it's time to say... Contestants ahoy! How is your Good. voyage? It's it's a long way, yeah? <laughs> You're finally here, thank goodness. So, we should probably get your adventure started. Over two challenging days, you are going to compete against each other in a series of games for stacks of incredible prizes. After each game, one pair will leave the competition, losing everything they have won. The last couple remaining will play for a shiny new car and £50,000. So are you all ready? Yes. Then your first game lies at the Cape of Plenty. I would imagine you don't really know where that is. No. Okay, here are your maps. They will help you find your way. If you want to head off that way, okay. we'll see you there. Sir, thank you. Very good. Thank see you there. Can we get a map? We should probably follow them. We are twin brothers. We met a long time ago in the womb, and now uh, we've been pretty much inseparable ever since. When we first met, I didn't like Anna at all. I tried to warn my cousin to stay away from her, but obviously he didn't listen. Can't get rid of each other now. No, I can't get rid of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've been married for 25 years. We met in a petrol station because I went up to Penny and asked her out to dinner. First and the last time, I think, wasn't it? I'm a receptionist at a photo studio, and Gil is a car salesman, but not the dodgy sort. <laughs> James has got a, a young daughter, yeah. I've got a baby on the way, so Prize Island is definitely our last chance to have a bit of a muck about. We are quite laid back, uh, but now that we're on Prize Island, we are going to show our competitive side a bit more, I think. We run a guest house in Bath. We have a great deal in common with Faulty Towers. Eh? Chair my Basil, no, wife or well, No, you're definitely Sybil. <laughs> Great. I want to be Polly. <laughs> I'd like you to be Polly too. I hope you've got some oxygen with you. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're in peak condition. <laughs> and uh, we put a lot of training into coming out here. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to the Cape of Plenty. So the game you're going to be playing here is called Ship to Shore, and this is how it works. You each have a pontoon filled with prizes, including a flash new bicycle, a microwave, there's even a one-piece out there, a onesie, like an adult baby grow. All you have to do is build a raft, sail out to the pontoon, and ship all your prizes safely back to shore. But be warned, if you drop anything overboard, you're going to have to dive down and get it. OK, the fastest three couples back to the beach with all their prizes intact and stacked up in a pile will be going through to the next round. But the slowest couple, I'm afraid, will be heartlessly knocked out of the competition. She is a cruel mistress, Lady Prize Island. OK, are you all ready for a little bit of shipbuilding? Yeah! Yes. Let's get out there and build some rafts. Yeah. <laughs> Three, 
Okay, so they've got to assemble a raft and hoist up the flag before they can set sail. Now, they don't want to sink and lose their prizes, so they'd better build it with care. Oh, look, twins taking four things at a time. Look at little Hina, she's throwing poles at Gilly. Oh, Penny's had it too. That's 25 years of marriage right there. <laughs> Gilly and Hina first to get their deck down. They've got to get the board the right way round. It only fits on one way. Now, the twins have built their raft and have got their flag up. OK, they're ready to launch. Come on, boys. Gilly and Hina raising their flag. Penny and Richard having a few flag issues there. Oh, Gilly's a bit wobbly there. And the twins are off. Now, oh, come on. Ah. Now, come on, Gilly. You've got to find your sea legs. You're losing time there. Penny and Richard are on the move. Now, Richard used to be in the Navy, so this should be a doddle thing. And the girls have got their flag up. Or maybe not. No, no they haven't. Oh, OK, the twins have got their first prize, and it's a swing ball. Look at Hino and Gilly! Oh. Now, can Anna and Linda catch them up? Uh, it's starting to look like a no. Come on, girls! Come on! Wait, wait, wait. That's it. Wait. And the twins are heading back. They've got board games, a deck chair and a bike. This looks like the old two-trip tactic. Huh? Two trips. Oh. Uh, Penny and Richard, Gilly and Hina, look, they're neck and neck. There's, there's one bike and there's another. Wait. When the boys are back at shore, how are the girls getting on? Oh, it's starting to look a bit embarrassing. Maybe they can ask someone for help. Well, can, can we help the help girls? Them. Can we help them? Now, unless disaster strikes one of the other rafts, this is not looking good for Anna and Linda. Now, look at Penny. Hey, Richard and Penny, look they at that. They are piling it on. Deck chair, iron, ironing board. Penny manhandling the microwave. It's a one-trip tactic for them and Hina and Gilly. Look at those twins. They're so fast, they're off again. Their rafts are really low in the water. They're going to make it back. Look at that. Look at Gilly. He's lined down. Richard being attacked by a bicycle there. Oh, oh, he's in. <laughs> Richard really very Richard. nearly went under there. <laughs> OK, this is it. James and Daniel are heading to the shore. Oh, I think it's all over for Anna and Linda. Oh, I feel for them. Oh. They're going nowhere fast. Brings a tear to the eye, doesn't it? It does. Don't oh. worry. Everyone's offloading their prizes. Well, well nearly everyone. Penny's Look carrying things that. in her mouth. That's, That's how amazing. dedicated. Amazing. And the first to finish on the twins. Where are they up to? What oh, gentlemen. Penny and Richard come in second. Gilly and Hina are close third. And finally, the girls are afloat. Come the girls are afloat. Anna, come on, Go on. Anna. Girls, never even made it to the platform. <laughs> and now they're capsizing. Oh dear. Welcome back to dry land. Is it nice to be back on it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good. And now, Richard and Penny, some impressive game face from you. I saw you, you were standing like this. Very. <laughs> we wake up every morning like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal. Yeah. Linda and Anna, I'm afraid your raft building and sailing <laughs> wasn't quite up to scratch. I don't understand why. We've done it so many times. <laughs> I mean, you barely arrived on the island. And I'm afraid already we will be saying goodbye to you. What, what went wrong out there? Everything. <laughs> what have we learned? I th we learned that that's the most exercise we've done in a very long time. <laughs> but as you know, you do remain our guests on Prize Island. However, you don't get to enjoy the games or the prizes, I'm afraid. OK. Thank you. But our three surviving couples, listen to all the amazing things you've won. Microwave, bike, set of saucepans. Rich, those days of cooking fish fingers on the radiator, forget about it. <laughs> A selection of classic board games, the ironing board, an iron toaster provided by Argos, a onesie, super soaker, deck chairs and swing ball, all pretty impressive. But remember, there will only be one team leaving with all of their prizes at the end of the show. Now, for your next challenge, you need to make your way across the island to the old gold mine. So we'll meet you there. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck. That was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. What a fun game. 
We just need to make sure we get to the end to get everything that we've won, even if it is an iron and ironing board. <laughs> we so, need an iron. That's that the should, main we thing do we need. We do need an iron and ironing board. <laughs> She just threw everything at me. <laughs> if you did that at home, they'd have to call police. Good teamwork, Richard. <laughs> well, so far, it's just been another busy day on Prize Island. A bit of boat building, a bit of sailing, and a lot of transporting deck chairs across the sea on a rickety raft. We've got more incredible games to come as the three remaining couples battle to stay in the competition and try to win the car and £50,000. That's all coming up soon on Prize Island. Welcome back to Prize Island. The contestants are currently en route to another jaw-dropping challenge here at the old gold mine. Emma is also currently en route to intercept them with a little bonus game. I just hope their two routes meet. I hope Emma's keeping out of the sun. She has these funny turns where she just starts giving away prizes willy-nilly. Would you like to play a mini game? Yes. Yes? Come down here then and we will play Will It Float? Okay, guys, so this game is pretty straightforward. Here are some prizes. Some of them are big, some are small, some are heavy, some are light, some are waterproof. The question on everybody's lips is, will it sink or will it float? My job is to throw the prizes into the water and your job is to guess... Exactly! First thing to go in is a Kindle. So do you think it will sink or float? Ooh! So Gilly and Hina, you think float? James and Daniel sink. Richard and Penny sink. Here we go. Some heavy. One. Congratulations! Yay! Okay, next one, headphones. Oh, shall we find out? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yes, you all have headphones. A biggie, toaster. <laughs> That's sinking. Oh. Yeah. It's obviously not advisable to try this at home. Straight down. It's a digital picture frame. Oh, go down, go down. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Okay, let's find out if it's a sinker or a floater. Should I open the lid? Or does it not? Oh. Leave it? oh. Okay. Come on, Kenna. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So last but by no means least is a laptop. So for the final time, will the laptop sink or float? Sink! 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 Go in, that's going! Looking to the next game, I think that we're probably going to struggle because the others are much fitter and faster than us and probably lighter on their feet. We are quite young, but I don't think that will let us down. We know what each other's weaknesses are. We? We've got to know each other very well over this four and a half year period. I'm scared. I think the in-sync thing is still there. It was like one mind. I know, I mean, like you said, we haven't seen each other for a while, but I think we've still got that twin thing going. Boards off. well. Boards well for the next does, year. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Onwards and upwards, let's see how we can get on. It would be miraculous if we get through, but there's a chance because somebody else might make a mistake. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, yeah. And then there were three pairs. Welcome, one and all, to the old gold mine. 
prizes used to be mined in this mine. When the rich seam of prizes dried up, the prospectors moved on to another island, but they abandoned this mine a little carelessly. Because we didn't have to look too hard to find prizes like a widescreen TV, courtesy of Argos, a sporty watch, mobile phone, new tablet, digital camera, and a big old fridge freezer. Sadly, we also discovered dynamite. To qualify for the next round and save your prizes from exploding, all you have to do is play dynamite. Now, there's dynamite attached to those prizes over there. You have to remove it, one bundle at a time, successfully chuck it down the mine shaft, and that prize is all yours. You have to be quick, though, as there are only two minutes to complete the game. The team with the least amount of dynamite disposed of down the shaft at the end of the game will be leaving us and take home nothing. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Ready. OK, let's get cracking with dynamite. OK, now be careful, because the mine has sprung a leak and it is slippery out there. OK, Richard, hopping like a Morris dancer back there. They've got to get the sticks into the mine shaft. Oh, oh, Richard's no. missed, twins have missed. Oh, on, Gilly, get it! Oh. Gilly and Hina are in the lead. Daniel's going for that mobile phone. Oh, nice one! Get it in, though. Yeah! I think the twin thing, it'll help. I mean, we're not telepathic, I can't tell. We shouldn't tell them that. This one's for the state-of-the-art TV. Yes. Got it in. Come on, Richard. Yes, nice got one, it in. Richard. Yes, got it in. Come on, Gilly. You've done it. You've done it. Whoa, what? I'm the sort of person that I don't stop until I drop, so I'll keep on going until... I pass out pretty much literally. And I would yeah. hate to be the one to let I would him down because Gilly would never let me forget it. Very well done. What we really want to do is give these young people a little bit of a surprise. If we beat them in any physical sport, they'll be very surprised indeed. Come on, Penny. Oh, bad luck. Now it is Gilly. Come on. Come on. Hasn't missed one yet. Now then, Richard. Oh, oh he's got it in. This for the fridge freezer, Gilly. Oh, yes, good work. Twins are in. Come on, Penny. Penny! Penny! Look at that! Come on, Penny. Come on, Hina. Come on. Oh, oh bad luck, Hina. Oh, there we are. Very oh, well, well done. Everyone's finished. Guys, come down and join us, and we'll take a look at how much dynamite you managed to get into your shaft. Now then, Gilly and Hina, you have got one, two, three, four sticks well of done. dynamite. Well was good. Daniel and James, one, one two, two, three, four, four five, six. six sticks of six. dynamite. Good work from you guys. Richard and Richard Penny. Richard and Penny. One, two, three, four. four. Okay, so we have a clear winner. Daniel, James, you are through to well the next done. round. Well done. Very, very well done. Good work. This is very exciting. We have a tie. So. You guys, back to the top. You're going to run again, OK? Off you go. So for this tiebreak, each team has four sticks of dynamite. These aren't going to win you prizes. You just have to get as many of them as you can down the mine shafts. In the event of another tie, it will come down to the couple who get them into the shaft the quickest. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! They're off, fighting for that one remaining place in the next round. Richard versus Hina. Oh, Richard, got Richard, none for Hina. Three, 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 Penny versus Gilly. Gilly coming as fast as he can. Oh. Oh. They both missed. Oh. Halfway through, and it's 1 0 to Richard and Penny. Are we going to see another tie, Zander? Oh, I don't think so. That's two out of two for Richard. Oh! He's done it. Nina's done it. I think Richard did it. OK, all down to Gilly. It's 2 1 to Richard and Penny. If Gilly misses this, they are out of prize either. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh, Penny's Penny done it. In. There we are, Penny, Penny and Richard. Richard! Have done it very, well done. very well done indeed.
Oh, Gillian Hina, so gracious in defeat. Richard and Penny. You did it! You did it! <laughs> what a massive well relief. Good throwing in that last tie break there. Really terrible throwing before, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gilly and Hina, what a shame. How are you feeling about your second performance? Less good as we did about the first one. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, sadly, you are out of the competition, but you do get to stay here in paradise with us and enjoy the sunshine. But unfortunately, you won't be taking home any of your prizes. In fact, they may even get blown up. Better get out of here quick. Yes. Better have. <laughs> but it's better news for our two remaining pairs. Penny and Richard, four sticks of dynamite down the mine shaft wins you four prizes, including a gleaming fridge freezer. James and Daniel, an even bigger haul, six fantastic prizes, including an HDTV, a new watch, and a digital camera. You've earned yourselves a good rest. So kick back, relax, and we will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Brilliant. See you later. Boom, 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 boom. So it's the B&B owners versus the twins from Ronda. Join us after the break to see who will make it to the final and have the chance to win £50,000 and a brand new car. Welcome back to a new day on Prize Island. Two pairs of Prize Island hopefuls have already left the competition. But James and Daniel and Richard and Penny are still in the running for more prizes, including the biggest prize on the island, that car and that fabulous £50,000. Time for them to come and join us here at Swashbuckle Bay. Hi. Morning. Morning. So the game you're going to play here is called Shipwreck. Now, back in days of yore, pirates plundered many things, pearls, gold, and holidays to Las Vegas, staying at the five-star Aria Hotel, all courtesy of Virgin Holidays. Now, to win this incredible holiday to Sin City, all you have to do is navigate your way across the shipwreck, collecting your passports and plane tickets on the way. To make your journey across the shipwreck more interesting, you have to contend with Betty, an octopus with serious anger issues, and your opposing team will be trying to hose you off en route. The fastest pair to clamber into their plane seats at the end of the course wins the Vegas holiday, all the prizes they've won so far, and goes through to the final to play for the car and the cash. This is one shipwreck you really want to throw all your chips at. <laughs> OK, are you ready? Yeah. Then let's get the first pair up there and let's get wrecking. Good luck. Good luck. So, Richard and Penny are the first to go fighting for their place in the final. I will hold the bag. You've just got to stay with me, yeah? One in the left hand for you and one in the right hand for me. Fine. I think we have a very good chance of beating off the competition because I think that there is an element of the tortoise and the hare. And I think that we're a good pair of tortoises. Richard and Penny, are you ready? Ready! Hi, Steph, Charlie, Roger! Roger! Very nice, good, nice slide the down there. there. Yeah. Ready to go. Quick through the water. It's very quick. So Richard has reached the rigging, and here comes Penny. Ooh, a bit of a face full of briny, I'd say. Ooh, she's got to the bottom of the ladder before Richard's even reached the top. That's good go. Go, 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 go. Come on, uh, Penny. Pull. Go. OK. OK, I'm doing Now the bag. Now with the ticket. Now, if they don't get that ticket, they'll get a 10-second penalty. Okay. Daniel doing everything he can it's with that hose. Can you hang on? I'm going to get the other mark. Ah, oh, the naval man. So at home on the galleon. Making easy work of a rope bridge, I'd say. Always having trouble got a ticket? With the ticket. Has he got a ticket? Leave it. I'll do it. Oh, no, he's going to leave it. Maybe Penny's going to no, pick it up Penny and slide it along. Maybe Penny's better with knots because she's a lady. Oh, yeah, maybe. Come on, Penny, see that. Go, go, go. Look at that. Well done, Penny! That's definitely slowed them down, though. Got in the mouth, like a proper pirate. Oh. That's what they used to do with their tickets. They're across, though. <laughs> no, don't bother with that. Just go. Penny taking charge, as she does in their guest house, I imagine. 
Okay, to the anchor. Oh, Richard's Richard off! Richard mounted the anchor. Okay, you ready? Richard really wants to win that car. They haven't had a new one in 20 years. Now they have to get up. Quick as you can, guys! Are they going to be quick enough, though? Come on, Penny! Yeah, pretty pooped. Don't kill on yourself. So the passports are in the barrels. OK, here yeah, come the passports. Come passports. Can they get them? Can they Penny's get them? Penny's got hers. Penny's got hers. Richard can't find it. Oh, there it is, there it is, up there. Now they, they just have to climb up those stairs, down the fallen rigging. Go, go, go. This is marvellous. Penny drawing on all her reserves. Woo! How graceful. <laughs> oh, Richard, not so graceful. Right, you on the winning deck. Come on, guys, Go. get into that seat. <sighs> Helping push from Richard there. Come on, this is that holiday in Vegas. Come on. OK, Penny the there. Penny is in the seat. Penny is in the seat. Arms in the air. Come on. Come on! Both up. Yes! Good well done! We're not very fit. That was wow. a, a heroic performance there. How did you find it, Penny? Difficult. I had a lot of water out both nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> How was it for you, Richard? It I couldn't. Yeah, it's like shoelaces, tying up shoelaces when you're small. But you left it to Penny. You're, well, he's the sailor. You should have dealt with the rigging a bit better. I should, I should have just left it to yeah, Penny. Yeah, not Richard, not. Come on. Very best of luck. Thank you. Thanks very much. So James and Daniel have a time of three minutes, 53 seconds to beat. Let's bounce, let's bounce. <laughs> let's go for this last one. Final push. Let's go for it. Yeah. James and Daniel, are you ready? Yeah! First twin to the rigging. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> one of the best. He really showed me who's boss. Come on, Jess, let's go. You got it, you got it, you got it. OK, well, Daniel, or is nice it James, work. is at the top of the ladder already? I'm still confused. James, or is it Daniel? I have no idea. No idea. I do know they both played for the same rugby club, though. Their teamwork should be great. Okay, now off goes James, or is it Daniel? Ooh, he's got to get this ticket. Oh, he's not going to. you got it. He's going to leave that for Daniel, or is it James? You're supposed to put it back in. That's right. Just put it in. A little bit unsteady on that rope yeah, there. Come you got it. Richard really struggled here. Come you got it, you got it. They're making oh, light quick. work. Oh, that was quick. Though. Wow, these boys are really fast. OK, straight into the bag. Look at that. The twins, they're in their element here. James and Daniel's wives are going to be so impressed. You don't want any fumbling on the anchor. <laughs> oh, amazing! It's like watching two big kids. Now, oh, oh. I'm slightly overshot the poop. There. Not a very graceful entry into the water. Just the passports to collect now. These boys really want to win this, don't they? Watch right. Ready? Yeah, go. They've got their passports. They did that well, they so did that far up. Quickly, indeed. Quick, quick. <laughs> James and Daniel, absolutely no fear. Let's go! Woo! Beautifully done. Great They're start. loving it, aren't they? On the home stretch now. Go, go, go. For Vegas and the final boys. Up they go, up they go. Get, get, get. Can they do it? Get your boarding passes. Go on, guys. In the seat, in the seat. Shoot the Very well done, the twins. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Now, some fantastic shipwrecking there from both teams. Some lovely teamwork exhibited as well. Uh, boys, how did you find it? That was the hardest and most fun, fun thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You yeah. seem to power through it. Oh, we were just practically chasing each other yeah. around the court. When you know where we've got to, one pair will be leaving us with nothing, the other pair will be going through to the final, keeping all their prizes so far and playing for that car and the £50,000. OK. The couple to run the fastest shipwreck run today.
Daniel and James. Very well done. Congratulations. That was a great time, 2.18. Oh, such good time. Richard and Penny, I'm afraid that means you'll be leaving us prizeless. It's been amazing. Really? Yeah. Well, we've loved having you. Thank you both so much. You've been brilliant contestants. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Boys! Eva! 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 You realise what this means? You keep everything that you've won so far. And you're going to Vegas. You're going to Vegas. Vegas, baby. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK, boys, we'll see you over at Moonfish Bay, the scene of the final challenge. Eva! 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 We are in the final. Can't believe it. Oh, three games and they've been so right up our street. Oh, I enjoyed every minute. That last one was incredible. Surprise Island playground. Ahoy! Have to see you here. Now, just in case you're not thrilled enough with making it through to the finale, I am here to spread yet more joy in the shape of a mini game. This is a game called Sand Dunk. It's a bonus game in which you are each going to have three coconuts. Of those six combined coconuts, if you can get three through the net, you will be taking this backboard and net home with you. Let's shoot some hoops. OK, take it away. Okay, he only got one. He only got one out of three. Come on. Okay, both of these have to go through. You've done it. This last one. And it's enough. And it's enough. Very well done. Come here. Come here. Yeah. How wise. They're going to be so proud. They're going to be so proud to let them know that we've actually gone this far and they're going to be over the moon. <laughs> exactly. You've won absolutely everything on Prize Island. Can't believe how luck really. Luck has been on our side the whole way through. It's, it's all been a lot of fun so far, but it all gets quite serious now. Yeah, definitely. Are you ready for that? We are. It's, it's very nerve-wracking. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's in our hands. If, if we can do well in this next game, it will just be unbelievable to go home to the wives and say, it's been worth it, you know. Yeah. We're big kids and, you know, big kids bring home big prizes, hopefully. And you're expecting a baby? Yes, the baby's on its way. You've got a five-month-old? Five-month-old, yeah. So, I mean, this would just be the oh, perfect... To be able to... I mean, it's, it's been such an unbelievable experience. We're yeah. never going to forget this, but yeah. there's almost like there's that little cherry that we just can, we can put on the top and, really well, fingers finish. crossed, we're, we're, we're going to jump in four feet forward and hopefully you come out with the goods. I would love to see you in that. Please, please do everything you can. We do our very best. OK, well, our last game awaits in Moonfish Bay. This way, gents. Cool. On yep. we go. You see, the Hebrides. Global warming has been so good to them. So, James and Daniel have already won loads of fabulous prizes, but the best prize is still up for grabs. Join us after the break when James and Daniel face their toughest challenge yet. Can they solve the island's greatest riddle and win themselves a car with £50,000 stuffed in the boot? Welcome back to Prize Island, and as night approaches and the shadows are lengthening, our surviving contestants, James and Daniel, are about to face their greatest challenge yet. I can't believe we've actually made it through the final. Crazy. All the prizes in the bag. Who Been knows? nervous, excited about the next one. It is yeah. the biggie. It is for the jackpot. We're getting for it. We want to we go want. all the way now. We're in we the final. this far. We may as well. Yeah. Go big. Go home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And here they are now. Boys, welcome to Moonfish Bay. Thanks very much. It's one of the island's greatest secrets. <laughs> Daniel and James, you have won every game you've faced and you've seen off every single opponent that you've faced. You also have a pretty sensational list of prizes, including a microwave, a brand new bike, laptop, Kindle, headphones, an HDTV, mobile phone, a top-of-the-range digital camera, fridge freezer, and a holiday of a lifetime to Las Vegas. Now, though, you have a chance to play for the ultimate treasure on the island, a new Vauxhall Astra GTC with £50,000 in the boot. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> it has been absolutely incredible having you here, and I can only hope now that you go on to win the big one. 
So this is how the final game works. The car lies hidden in one of these five tombs. The other four contain absolutely nothing. All you have to do is find the answer to a single question, and your possible answers are etched above the doors of the tombs. Only the correct answer will reveal the car and all that cash. Your possible answers are pink, yellow, red, orange, green. The question, though, will remain a mystery for now. You will now face three games, and each one of those you complete successfully, you will eliminate one of the incorrect answers from above the tombs. OK, you ready for your first game? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Go. OK, this is the first of your tasks. Word maze. You have one minute to create four four-letter words only using the letters on this grid in front of you. You can each only move one letter at a time from the grid to the board, but make sure you choose carefully because there's only three of each letter. Also, that minute goes past very, very quickly. Succeed in this task and one of the incorrect answers will be removed from the tombs. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, salt, 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 salt. More, more, more. Salt. Oh, very good. Oh. What? Oh, they're oh, doing separate right. words. Oh, good oh, work, boys. Oh, very clever. Look at this. I've not, I don't malt, even know malt. what James what? is doing. Oh, oh more. You. Very good. Malt. More. Very good. I get malt. OK, now then, on to your next word. Come on, James. What are you doing? Malt. Malt. Oars. Oars. Salt. We've got malt. Oars. And they got more. Oars. Oh, are you? OK, they're going for oars. 30 seconds oh. to go, boys. I think they might do this, Ander. Was it Ed? Ed? Oh, my goodness. Oh my Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Ord, Ord, Ord. I'm just puzzled by that word, that's all. Oh, Ord. Ord. Oh, what about that? Wow. Oh, fantastic. Boys, very, very well done. Absolutely perfect, Please. perfect start. And you know what that means? One down. One down. And you'll also now have an incorrect answer revealed to you. And that answer is... Green, that leaves you with four possible answers. Your chances of winning the car and the cash have just got a bit better. OK, boys, your next task is called headhunting. To remove another incorrect answer from the tombs, you need to knock down all of the stone icons using your crossbow and your five arrows of destiny. Sound tricky? We'll give it a go. Boys, best of luck. Thanks very Thank much. You. Off you go. Take a shot. Yeah, you go for it. Uh, just right. tell me how I'll, I'll hold it. Uh, to you a bit. To me a bit. To yeah, a bit. To you a bit. To you a bit. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. There you go. You got it. You got it. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Oh, look at that! Oh! oh, oh, oh look at that! Fantastic. Good two work. with one. So four left and four arrows left. You don't mean to shoot? Yeah, go for it. Don't mess with a good thing. Right, you need to go forward a bit. Come on, boys. Back to it. Oh, James. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, good work. And the washing machine nearly went down as well. Oh, Three icons remain. Three arrows as well. When you try and hit that brick at the front that had the camera on, and perhaps that will force everything, because, you know, a bit of wind. Anyway, is it? Yeah? Weak. Is there anything they can't do, the twins? Right, forward. Oh! Oh! oh. Whoa. Give it hell for Layla. I'm going to give it hell for Layla. Come on, James. Forward a bit, forward a bit. There. Yeah. Come on, boys. Oh, oh, you hit exactly where you wanted to hit. Oh! Go for gold, hit the washing machine. We don't like washing. This is your last arrow, boys. Make it a good one. The washing machine, incidentally, is about the only thing you haven't won since you've been on Prize come Island. Come on, come on, you can do this. Chew up a bit. <laughs> come on, oh, boys! No! I'm afraid that is a missed opportunity, but keep your chins up, because we're going to go on to your third game now, and maybe you'll get a chance to eliminate another incorrect answer there. Brilliant. On we go. Let's go. OK, your final task and your final chance to unveil an incorrect answer is this. Dig me a clue. 
In front of you is a grid with four hidden treasure chests, and around the grid there are eight symbols. Solve the clue by working out which two symbols point to the location of your next chest. This is your final shot at revealing a wrong answer on one of the two and increasing your chance of winning the car at £50,000. You will have three minutes to complete the task. Here is your first clue. Very best of luck. Are you ready? Yes. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Right, read, read the clue, read the clue. Lunch box. Uh, lunch box. TV is a box. Lunch is food. Good, good, good. Good, I go. Get, 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 that is a frantic digging, isn't it? <laughs> One minute gone, boys. Oh, oh, well done, they've got it up. Muscle. Brilliant, brilliant. Read it, read it. <laughs> Lunar cycle, moon and bike, Lunar cycle, OK. Um, what are we doing? There we are. <laughs> OK, you're halfway there. Keep prospecting. Oh, there we are, there we are. Ah, oh, they've got it up, they've got it up. Oh, that was Very really well done. quick one. One minute 30 gone. At the crossroads of Vesuvius and St Andrews. Golf, beer. There, there, OK, there. this is your last chest, boys. OK, go on, quick, 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 quick. Get it open. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, go on, minute left. This side, this side. Fantastic. Very, very well done. Top-rate shoveling and first-class clue-solving there. You have now managed to eliminate two incorrect answers from the tombs. Open red. As night falls on Prize Island, James and Daniel, you now face the final question to win the car and that incredible £50,000. It doesn't get any bigger than this, boys. Over there are your five tombs. One of them contains the car and the £50,000. Now, you successfully completed two tasks, which means you eliminated two incorrect answers, leaving yourselves with three possible options. Now, in a moment, I will ask you the mystery question. You will then have 30 seconds to discuss and give your answer. If you give us a wrong answer, you will open an empty tomb, which means no car and no cash. But give us a right answer and you will reveal that new car and the £50,000 in gold coins. What's going through your minds right now? This is the business end. Just to go out with a bang and just uh, to do it would be, oh, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I'm sensing nerves. Nervous excitement. It's just, you know, one answer could be a heck of a change, a heck of a price, really, so... Okay. You're making me nervous now. <laughs> well, it obviously means a lot to you. And we really want you to go home with the biggest prize of all, so the very, very best of luck. Best of luck. Your three possible answers are... pink, yellow, orange. Listen very carefully, here comes your question. On a standard UK edition of Monopoly, what colour is Leicester Square. Your 30 seconds start now. It's not pink. Pink, pink, pink is Pall Mall. Yeah, yeah. Orange is is, um, is is at the top. I'm pretty sure Leicester Square is yellow. Leicester, yeah. I, I think that's your lucky colour. I, I, I yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow. I'm I'm happy. Happy. I cannot I see Leicester Square. When's the last time you played in white Porsche? Leicester Square, so it's going to be more serious. It's, it's going to be yellow. Leicester Square. Leicester Square, yeah. We'll go with Leicester Square. Yeah, please. OK, yeah, that's your 30 square. seconds up. Yeah. We're going to go for oh. yellow. Leicester Square is the yellow. OK, if that's the right answer, the door will open to reveal the car and the £50,000. If it's the wrong answer, the door will open to reveal nothing. 
That is whole we know flipping monopoly. <laughs> I beat you enough times in it. <laughs> so it all boils down to this. Open yellow. They conquered everything. Daniel and James are sailing home with a boatload of prizes, a car, and fifty thousand pounds. We won fifty thousand. I can't, and a car, and all those prizes. It's, it's I, I'm gobsmacked. I can't believe what just happened. I'm gonna buy a new game of Monopoly <laughs> to celebrate. Definitely. Frame Leicester Square. Definitely. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> done it. You've done it. Uh. So for the last time this series, it's goodbye from us. Goodbye from the contestants. And goodbye from beautiful Prize Island. We have truly loved every second.